Today I want to talk about nutmeg. A lot of us know about this, some of us use it, some of us don't. Well, we've been using this for our patients over the years and I think it's high time we talk about it, especially when I keep talking about sleep, we're talking about sexual wellness all the time and of course we're talking about inflammation. Most people out there today are inflamed, sometimes maybe even you and me. Even though we're doing the right things, our food chain is messed up, sometimes we're sleep deprived, that leads to more inflammation in the body. Even our chronic stress levels can create inflammation in the body. So I'm talking about nutmeg today. There are good things about nutmeg and then they, it can also be extremely dangerous. So we'll talk about both parts of it. Number one, why I love using nutmeg for most of our patients because it works as a vasodilator. What is a vasodilator? Anything that has the ability to relax the blood vessels so that they can expand and there's more blood flow through those blood vessels that reaches our heart, great for cardiovascular health, great for blood pressure, great for our skin, great for our hair, vasodilation. So things like beetroot, vasodilator, dark chocolate, vasodilator because it contains magnesium and even nutmeg is a vasodilator. And because it's a vasodilator, we went ahead and started using it for our patients who have arthritis and for our patient, patients who have fibromyalgia to reduce the pain and guess what? It works. Okay, it's not the only thing that's gonna work. You still gotta change your lifestyle, understand why you have an autoimmune condition, reduce inflammation in the body through your sleep, exercise, everything. But the fact adding nutmeg to your diet can act as a vasodilator, it's reducing the pain of people with arthritis and even fibromyalgia. So it, it's also working because you see what happens in arthritis, there's inflammation in the joints. And so nuts, since nutmeg also acts as an anti-inflammatory, it's great for reducing inflammation and hence pain. In some cases, it's also working really well with our diabetics, type two diabetes, especially when people like snacking late at night, having late night meals, adding a little bit of nutmeg to their last meal or even to a simple glass of water. And now let's say you're lactose intolerant, but you're having lactose free milk or you're having almond milk at night because you like to have a little bit of milk before sleep. You know, and if you're not lactose intolerant, having a little bit of nutmeg powder, I'm talking about one mg the max 1.5 mg mixed with a little bit of milk can also help you with deep sleep and also your blood sugar levels. And you'll see this in your morning blood sugar levels. Again, don't get me wrong. Nutmeg powder is not gonna take away your diabetes. You're gonna have to put in the work when it comes to your nutrition, your exercise, your sleep, and even your emotional wellness. Now, nutmeg is also antimicrobial in nature, which is why a lot of toothpastes have nutmeg in because it can help you with cavities. It can help you with all of these things. So. Nutmeg is great for us in many, many different ways. It's a very powerful antioxidant. And that's why most of my patients with cancer or inflammatory conditions, if it allows for them to have nutmeg, they can have nutmeg. Now you wanna be careful of nutmeg because it's a warming food. So some of our patients on a lot of medication, steroids, chemotherapy, if there's a lot of heat in their body, then that's the time we don't use nutmeg. But if they don't have those symptoms, then we use nutmeg. It's a warming food, but since we're having it in a very, very small quantity, one to 1.5 mg, it should not cause a problem for most people. But if you're highly acidic and you have the body type that has a lot of heat, then you definitely want to avoid it. Now, when it comes to sleep, this is the powerful one. Nutmeg is great for sleep. Again, one mg to 1.5 mg. You can have nutmeg mixed with water. If milk suits you and you have ethically sourced hormone-free milk, having a glass of milk with a little bit of nutmeg powder also helps you to sleep because milk is also great for your sleep, which is why when you were a child, your mom probably gave you a little bit of turmeric and honey and milk. But of course, if it doesn't suit you, don't do it. But having milk with a little bit of turmeric powder. Now let's say you can't have milk. I like mixing a nutmeg powder with my last glass of water, sometimes with my apple cider vinegar and water, it doesn't matter. Now, because it works so beautifully for sleep, now understand, if you're stressed out, you're looking at your phone before bed, it's blue light and you're stressed out, don't blame the nutmeg if it doesn't work, all right? You gotta solve the right, you have to solve problems with the right solutions. Don't think that I can have nutmeg and look at my phone and disrupt my blue light, my circadian rhythm and nutmeg should work. Most of us give up on nature because we think nature should solve all problems, but sometimes you gotta solve the problem with the right solution. So if it's your phone that's causing the problem, you gotta fix that. If it's your stress levels that's causing the problem, you gotta fix that. Now, nutmeg and when it comes to your sex drive, women and men, it's been proven for the longest time, there's mixed science because you see science today is also corrupt. They only talk about rats 
and not always human beings. But for the longest time, civilizations right from the Egyptian civilization to the Indian to the Aztec warriors, all of them have used nutmeg for libido for both men and women. It's used for erectile dysfunction. It's used for sperm count in men. In fact, for women, it's called women Viagra. It helps you with libido. Now, the point is when you find this working for you, if you make the mistake of thinking, what if I have a little more nutmeg? Okay, it's going to have the opposite action. It's going to cause hallucinations. It's going to create toxicity in your body. So don't fool around with nature. Just because something works with you, do not think that if I have more, it's going to be better. The intelligence and wisdom is always in the dosage. And usually, and usually, it is less is more. Okay, so this can work really powerful for you. But let's say you're stressed out and, you, and, and the reason your libido is low or you have a bad diet, you're not exercising, you're sedentary, you're on too much of processed food, and that's the reason you have a low male sperm count, you have low libido, you have sexual dysfunction, don't think nutmeg's gonna solve that problem. You gotta correct that stuff. Now, by adding nut nutmeg to your diet, it will definitely have an impact if you have these sexual dysfunctions. We've used it for a lot of infertility cases for our men and for our women, and it's been absolutely tremendous when paired with lifestyle changes. So what you wanna do is add a little bit. Remember, it is one MG to 1.5. You may wanna start off with 0.5 MG, see how it suits you. Then next two or three days, move up to one MG and max 1.5 MG, all right? Now again, the best time to take this is before sleep. Sometimes you can even sprinkle a little bit into your coffee. I love doing that. In fact, for a lot of our diabetics, we found that adding a little bit of cinnamon powder and a little bit of nutmeg not just gives it a great taste, but their blood sugar levels are also lower. So you can mix it with water, you can mix it with coffee, you can mix it with tea, you can mix it with food, You just your salads. It's as simple as that. Understand the power of nature, but understand that it can also be deadly for you. So do not overdo it. You wanna look for a good brand. In India, we, all over the world, you get the whole, you get the whole uh, nutmeg. I prefer that. Okay, especially in a country where we live, where most of our spices are adulterated, you wanna to try to get the whole one, and then all you do is you just grind a little bit on your potato grinder, or your vegetable grinder, you make a little bit of fresh powder, mix it. Remember, if you overdose on nutmeg, it is toxic for you. By mistake, if you do this or you find someone who's done this, they have hallucinations, they have these tinglings all over their body. Sometimes you need to probably get them to emergency to get themselves flushed out. That's why be careful of this. 1 to 1 1.5 mg. Maybe you want to start with 0 0.5 if you've never done that. But try adding this. You may not have any of these problems that I mentioned. Still have a little bit of it. It tastes amazing and you'll sleep like a baby. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you. Thank you.